Hello lovely people. Today I'm going to run through my favourite incense fragrances. Fragrances that have incense and play a major part in the actual composition. I've got nine of them here from my collection and I'll go through them really quickly and you'll see that they're all very different to each other um, even though incense does play a major part in them. Incense to me generally describes anything that's kind of Resin resinous and gives off like a smoky feel. So I'll start off with a classic and that is Timbuktu from L'Artis and Parfumeur. Here the incense uh, plays a part of kind of putting, bringing everything together, the papyrus, the green mango, the vetiver, um, and it, like it kind of almost gives this illusion of a breezy, the breeze that's carrying all those scents while you're wearing this fragrance. So that's uh, Timbuktu from L'Artis and Parfumeur. Next is my very favourite, um, I guess, churchy incense, even though I never really went to church when I was a kid, but uh, this was inspired by a Catholic church incense. This is Avignon from Comme de Garçon. It is my very favourite uh, frankincense. Um, the frankincense here is like to me a very cool frankincense and it's offset by a warm base of labdanum um, and it really gives that effect of cold stone walls um, with candles lit inside and incense burning obviously. It's beautiful. I love wearing it. Avignon. So next is one of my favorite fragrances full stop and it's um, Absolute pour le soir by Maison Francis Um This is essentially a you know a spicy fragrance um, and I find here that the incense although a bit lighter than some of these other fragrances really really plays um, a good melding point between the spice and then and then the the deeper resinous, um, warmer aspects of this fragrance. It just, it really, I think the incense in Absolute Polar Soir really smooths everything out and serves as a perfect transition between that kind of full on spice into the warmer base. Next is another legend fragrance. This is Alerbe du Desert Marocain from Andy Tower. For me, the incense here just serves to accentuate one of the driest ambers out there. Um, it sets it apart from a lot of other ambers in that it is so dry. The incense works with all the spices and again, similar to Timbuktu, but in a totally different setting, it, I think it really uh, inspires that the air, the Moroccan desert air, uh, and um, it, it's just beautifully balanced in this fragrance with, between the spices and the amber. Next is another fragrance from Comme de Garçon. This is Two Man. Here, um, here the incense is almost, well, I mean, this is very well known for giving, for smelling like snuffed out candles and, and it is the best possible description of what this smells like. Again, it's, it's got a bit of a base, but here the incense um, is really nicely blended with aldehyde. So it gives off the, the aldehydes help create this fizzy sense of air about this fragrance. Um, I, I really, really enjoy wearing this. Um, and I mean, it is highly regarded by a lot of people, but really it, it is a, it is a beautifully composed and original uh, quite unique fragrance. I love Two Man from Comme de Garçon. Next, we have the beautiful Eau de Beau from L'Occitane. Uh, vanilla, cypress, and a wonderful cooling incense. That, uh, when I reviewed this, I think I described it like walking through a cool, um, cool green forest with mist uh, kind of sort of uh, just above the ground um, and that that scent in the distance of that, that just a touch of sweetness of vanilla here but it was really to me this is all about the cypress and and that that mist creating incense 
Second last one, this is a cheapy but a very goody. Um, this is Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. Uh, <clears throat> it is quite simple, it's just perfectly balanced grapefruit, uh, vanillin, black pepper, spice and incense. And I find the common theme with the incense in a lot of these fragrances, the incense tends to tie together the other ingredients and, and, it, and it, it's no less in this fragrance by Zadig and Voltaire. Um, just quietly, I have reviewed this one a long time ago, but I um, th this is so, I think, under-talked about, underrated for something at this price point. It is a touch synthetic, but it smells great. I think it smells great. Um, and, you know, it doesn't, this doesn't actually really evoke anything to me. It's just, it's just very um, minimalist in its, in its design in that I can clearly smell every element, the grapefruit, the pepper, the vanilla, and, and the incense running all the way through it. <clears throat> From Olfactive Studios, this one is Woody Mood. Um, I don't think I have reviewed this one yet, and I will do so soon. The incense here, um, again, it, it works really well. This is a strange perfume in that it has this lovely, bright, almost fruity ginger opening. And, and in, by fruity, I don't mean like a candied ginger or anything like that. It's just very bright and effervescent. Um, and again here, the incense serves as some kind of bridge between that opening and then, to me, the very dry um, woody base inc that includes sequoia wood, uh, which I imagine just as this red kind of dusty um, dry wood. Uh, and, and so it's not so much a smoky incense here this is more like a dusty incense if that makes any sense that's woody mood by olfactive studio now my most recent incense uh acquisition is from lorenzo biloretti this is actually called incensi um now this one is harder to describe in that i'm going to spray some on um, and i'll have a go because i love it but i haven't really totally familiarize myself with it. Here, this is almost like a sweet incense. Um, I get, there are similarities with the frankincense here in Avignon, but this is opposite end of the spectrum in that it's warmer. It feels like an outdoor incense. Um, and this, there's a lovely, sweetie fruitiness um, sitting sitting in behind it as well. I guess my point in showing you these is that um, incense can be, can act as kind of a chameleon with a lot of different fragrances if it's used with the right, in, with the right other ingredients, if it's used correctly, if it's well composed and balanced. Um, and it's something um, that it's taken, you know, it's taken me a while to actually appreciate it as an ingredient, as an element in compositions, in fragrances. So what I wanted you to do now is um, comment below and tell me about your very favorite incense fragrance. And I know, I know that there are a lot of others out there that are very highly rated and regarded that I haven't even smelled yet. So I want to hear about them. I want suggestions um, for sampling. Um, and that was fun to do. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.